In this video, you'll learn how to graph linear equations. And graphing linear equations, that's a core skill in algebra and beyond. To really learn and remember, you have to do a lot of practice. So we're going to look at a number of equations here. We'll start by making a table of values and then plotting those to get our linear equation, get our graph here. Next, we'll look at slope-intercept form and another method that you can use to check your work. So let's graph a linear equation. Probably the easiest way to graph is to start by making a table of values for x and y and then plotting them on our graph here. For example, we're given this linear equation y equals 3x minus 2. So we can create a table. We can put values in for x and figure out y, then we'll graph it. You can choose any values you want to put in for x, but if you choose the smaller numbers, they're going to fit on your graph. That might make it a little easier. So let's say x is 1. We'd have 3 times 1 minus 2. So that's 3 minus 2. That would give us 1. So our values for x and y are 1, 1. If we put 0 in for x, 3 times 0 minus 2, that's 0 minus 2. We end up with minus 2. And we have 0, comma, minus 2 for our point. It's a good idea to do three points because that way if you make a mistake, you really see it on the graph. So let's do negative 1. 3 times negative 1 minus 2. That's a negative 3 minus 2. We get a negative 5. So our point is negative 1, negative 5. So now that we have these three points, we'll just graph them. For 1, 1, that means x is 1 and y is 1. For 0, negative 2, x is 0, y is negative 2. And finally, we have x as negative 1 and y as negative 5. And you can see all three line up. We can put a line through them. We put arrows on the end of our line to show it goes to infinity. And that's the graph for y equals 3x minus 2. And we can put any value in for x. And the y value, when we plot the x and the y, it's going to be on this line somewhere here. So pause and give this one a try. y equals 2x plus 1. So when we substitute these values in for x here, these are the points that we end up with. So we have 1, 3 over 1, up 3, 0, 1, 0, and then up 1, and negative 1, negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1. Let's put a line through it. And this is the graph for y equals 2x plus 1. And again, we just chose these values. Any values would work, but these really show up nicely here. And if you put other values for x, they'd be on the line as well. Try this one. y equals 1 half x minus 2. So it's a little bit more work with the fraction, but the same idea. And when we graph these values here, this is what we get. Put our line through them. And that's the graph for y equals 1 half x minus 2. Let's do just one more. This comes up sometimes. y equals 4. So here y equals 4. We don't have an x, so y is always going to be 4. If we go over here at 5, x equals 5, y is 4. At x equals 0, y is 4. And anywhere along here, y is going to be 4. So you can see what the graph is going to look like. If we had x equals 4, we just have a vertical line up and down along x, where every x value is 4. Another way that we can graph linear equations is we can use the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. And this works really well. It'll give us the same answer, just another way to do it. The thing is, we have to have it in this format, y equals mx plus b. So let's take this equation here and divide everything by 2. Since that'll give us y by itself, we end up with y equals 2x plus 1. The 1 is the y-intercept, the 2, that's the slope. And you might recognize this from the first example we did. So now we have the y-intercept here, that's 1. That's where the line's going to cross the y-axis. So we just go up to 1, and that's our first point. For the slope, we have 2, but it's helpful to think of it as 2 over 1. That gives us rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept and we rise 1, 2, we go over 1. And we can just keep doing this, rise 1, 2, and go over 1. Likewise, we could go the opposite direction, down 2 and over to the left 1. 
down one, two, over to the left one. And we could just keep doing this as well. And all of these points, they're on our line. So let's put a line through this. And this is the graph for y equals 2x plus 1. It's the same thing we got before, just a different way to do this. It's a little bit quicker this way, I think. So pause and give this one a try. So our y-intercept, that's negative 2. So we'll just put this right here. And our slope, the 3, we consider that 3 over 1. It's still 3, but now it's a fraction, rise over run. We go up. 1, 2, 3, over 1. Up, 1, 2, 3, over 1. And let's just go down, 1, 2, 3, over to the left, and one more. 1, 2, 3, over to the left, and there's our line. Again, this is the same graph we had before when we just plugged numbers in. So great way to check it. Let's do one last one. Pause and give this a try. y equals 1 half x minus 2. This is also one we've done before here. So let's take a look. We have the y-intercept at negative 2. So we'll plot that. And then our slope is 1 over 2. So we already have a fraction rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept. We go up 1 and then over 1, 2. Up 1, over 1, 2. Let's go in the opposite direction. Let's go down 1 and over 2 to the left. Let's do one more. We'll go down 1 and over 1, 2. And this is the graph for y equals 1 half x minus 2. It's the same thing we got before when we plugged values in with our table. So it's always a good idea if you graph a linear equation by plotting points using a table, you should also check it with something like slope-intercept formula. Sometimes we'll find the x and y intercepts. We'll set them to 0, and then we can find two points and graph those two points. That'll give us a graph for our linear equation. So let's say if y equals 0, that means 2 times y is 0. We end up with minus 2x equals 8. Divide both sides by negative 2. And we end up with x equals negative 4. So when y is 0 right here, x would be negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. Likewise, we could set x to 0. And when x equals 0, we have 2y equals 8, divide both sides by 2, and now y, that'll equal 4. So when x is 0 right here, y would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we have two points. We can put a line through it. And that's the graph for the linear equation 2y minus 2x equals 8. You could also create a table like we did earlier to find values for x and y. And if we rearrange this, and we put it in slope-intercept form, we could use that technique as well. So pause, give this one a try. So y equals 0, we end up with the y is 0, x is 2. So that's our first point. If x equals 0, y equals 4. So we go to x, 0, y, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's our line. So this is our graph for 4y plus 8x equals 16. We could rearrange this into slope-intercept form. We'd get the same graph. Or we could put values in a table, plot those, get the same graph again. So those are three techniques we can use to graph linear equations. We can put values in a table, plot those. We can use slope-intercept formula. Or we can set x and y equal to 0, find those intercepts, and graph the equation that way. They all give the same graph, just different ways to do it. My recommendation is you use a table, then you plot those values. That's a good place to start. And then depending on what your instructor recommends, either one of these techniques right here, they work really well. They're a good way to check your work. This is Dr. B graphing linear equations. Thanks for watching.